I don't know who needs to hear this, but being attractive is not about how you look. It is all about your mentality. And once your girl realized that, the glow up that I had showed. And coming from someone who used to be so insecure about myself, I hated looking in the mirror. I thought I was so ugly and unattractive. But when I tell you the day I actually gained confidence, it wasn't even when I had a physical glow up or lost all the weight. It was when I finally decided to adopt the hot girl mindset that brought me true confidence, not based on what I looked like. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing all the hot girl mindset life lessons that you need to know to do so. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Lena. I have a self-help series here on my channel where we discuss all things becoming your best self. So if you're not subscribed already, <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. What are you doing? Go subscribe right now. Lesson number one, understand the halo effect. So the halo effect is actually something that we all experience. It's when you see one desirable quality in someone, and then because of that, you associate this person with having all these other desirable qualities. And then when you look at that person, you find them attractive. So for example, a professional athlete, people will find them attractive because of how athletic they are. But if the same person that looked like that athlete passed by you on the street, you probably wouldn't even bat an eye. <laughs> or a super famous actor. Some of them are not conventionally attractive, but people think that they're attractive because of how talented they are at their art. So the good news babes is that you don't need to be a professional athlete or some world famous actor to be attractive. <laughs> Confidence is a very desirable quality. And you know why? It's because most people don't have true confidence. So if you exude confidence, you are just more attractive, period. It doesn't matter how you look. And I'm telling you, if younger Lena knew this, okay, back then, I would have saved so much time and energy not being stressed out about how I looked. Rejection is redirection. So what didn't work out for you actually worked for you. And you need to believe this at your core, okay? When I was at my most insecure, rejection and desperation honestly reeked out of me, okay? I was always exuding bad vibes, bad energy. When I tell you I had zero confidence in myself, so I always walked around feeling like I was so undeserving of things, whether it was opportunities, friends, doing well in school, being healthy, going to the gym, getting a guy to like me, etc. And basically, I took every rejection in my life as a sign to confirm my own belief that I was unworthy and undeserving. And now, I look back and I realize that everything I wanted so so bad at that time was not meant for me and God actually gave me so much better. <laughs> everything happens in your favor. Stop thinking that everything in your life is a setback. You have to be confident and believe that everything good in your life and bad in your life is happening in your favor. And all that good energy and positive vibes that you're gonna give out is always gonna come back to you. Take nothing personally. This one was a tough one for me to accept, okay? <laughs> I was someone that took everything so personally. I would go the extra mile to be nice to everyone, whether it was a friend or a stranger that I just Met. And then when that random barista would roll her eyes at me or a friend purposely left me out Or I found out that someone was talking crap about me I took that all so personally and it would hurt me so bad I would be so stressed I would be losing sleep over it And so what I realized is the way you stop taking everything so personally is you have to have a strong sense of self And you have to master detachment I have a whole other video on how to master detachment if you want to watch that But girly pop your confidence should not stem from if the people around you like you your confidence needs to stem from the fact if you like yourself. <laughs> and when I was super insecure, I didn't like myself. So it's all about learning true self-love, but also only hurt people hurt people. If you in your heart of hearts genuinely did nothing wrong to the other person and they have the audacity to be rude to you or snake you or backstab you, you need to realize that they are hurt themselves and it has nothing to do with you. And when you have a strong sense of self, like you are self-aware of who you are, your values, what you bring to the table, you know that that person's bad behavior has nothing to do with you and it is not your problem to deal with. Hate only comes from below or from competition. This is something that my brother told me that I will never forget. He told me that hate only comes from people below you because they are jealous of who you are and what you've achieved. Like if you think about it, people who are genuinely successful, like at the top of the top, a successful YouTuber is never going to make fun of you for wanting to start a YouTube channel. A super successful business owner is never gonna make fun of you for starting your first business. They are already successful in their own right. And if anything, they just respect you even more because they know the hard work it takes to get where they are. It's only the people below you that wanna hate on you, wanna talk down on you, wanna make fun of you. And if those successful people are hating on you, it's because they're threatened by you. Clap and be genuinely happy for other people's success. Let me tell you something, okay? Jealousy is ugly, okay? You could be the most attractive, drop-dead gorgeous girl I've ever seen. If I sense some jealousy on you, 
I know what it's like to be jealous, okay? When I was at my most insecure, I was the most jealous person. I was hating on everybody because I felt inadequate myself. Stop wasting energy being jealous of other people's success. It's only proof that you can do it too. There is more than enough success to go around. Someone else's success accomplishments does not take away from yourself. And you refusing to clap for others is the reason it will never be your turn. Other people's opinions are not a fact. It's an opinion. So every time you hear that someone's talking crap about you, they think you're ugly, you're cringe, you're annoying, you're weird, it is an opinion, which kind of hard pill to swallow, but they are 100% entitled to their own opinion. So stop being pressed about that. Stop wasting your time or energy being angry at that person. What is important and what you need to focus on is what is fact. Please stop obsessing over how to get a guy to like you. <laughs> stop asking yourself if this girl, this guy, this person, if they like you. Would you date you? Or are you worried about him not liking you is a direct crush on your ego because you rely on people liking you as a way for you to be confident? And I'm calling you out out because I had to call me out too. <laughs> the best dating advice is not even actual dating advice. I always see this advice on TikTok, like how to get him obsessed with you, how to get him to like you, how to get him to chase you. My best dating advice is to date yourself. <laughs> Pour all of your energy and time into bettering yourself. Find hobbies that you enjoy. Learn about new interesting topics. Become the most fit, healthy version of yourself. Read some books. Become the most confident version of yourself that you will want to date yourself, literally. <laughs> and I promise you that when you focus your time and energy on focusing on yourself and becoming the person that you want to attract, that person will come when the time is right. You will build confidence so high that you're gonna reject someone's dusty son if he doesn't treat you right. No answer is an answer. Stop trying to answer for other people why they're ghosting you, why they're treating you like crap, okay? If the guy you like, the friend you wanna hang out with isn't answering, that is an answer, okay? Stop trying to double text them, ask them, did I do something wrong? Are you okay? Take it, accept it, move on. Confidence is silent. Insecurity is loud. If you notice, the only people that do a lot of this, a lot of talking crap, are insecure people. They are the loudest. <laughs> and confident people don't even have the time or energy to waste talking crap. Confidence comes from the little wins. So there's three wins that I try to hit every single day. It's a physical win, spiritual win, and mental win. So a physical win would be going on a walk, stretching, going to Pilates, weightlifting. A spiritual win is praying, reading my Bible, meditating. A mental win is journaling. And having these set three wins that you follow every single day, no matter what, will inevitably build trust in yourself. And that's where confidence comes from, self-trust. And honestly, daily journaling wasn't one of the first and easiest habits that kickstarted my confidence because once I actually stuck to daily journaling and committing myself to it, I built enough confidence like, wow, I can start something and actually stick to it. And that discipline just carried on to all other areas of my life. If you find yourself not knowing how to start journaling or you have trouble sticking to daily journaling, do not worry, I feel you, okay? That was me too. So I created my very own journal to make it very easy for you to stick to every day. There's even a section for journal prompts if you run out of ideas to write about, which you guys already sold out our first drop. Like y'all snatched them up so quick. But the great news is that we are coming back in stock with the day by day journal on August 21st. So get ready, get on your Zoom, turn on your alerts on your phone, or you might be watching right now and they're available. Go snatch a journal up before they sell out again. Pour into yourself so much that you don't have time to waste on others who don't pour in you. Be so busy with yourself, the hobbies that you love, spending quality time with the people that you love, going to your favorite workout class, basically keeping yourself so busy that you do not have the time or energy to waste on people who don't give back to you. Every person that you lose is not a loss. Stop being a doormat and staying friends with people who treat you like crap because you're afraid to be alone. And the people who leave your life, they are always a lesson, not a loss. They will make fun of you one day and then another day they will ask you how you did it. So I started my YouTube channel and content creation in general about four years after I actually wanted to start it. And it's because I was so afraid of being made fun of. I already know that people from high school, middle school even, were probably making fun of me, but there will come a day when they come back around and they're gonna ask you, how did you do it? Walk in confidently like you own the room. Stop being afraid to take up space. <laughs> so that means walk into a room with your chest up, make eye contact with people and be a good vibe, you know, radiate good energy. You are the main character of your own story, act like it. I remember when I was at my most insecure, it was when I was a freshman in college and I was going to NYU, which is a very bougie, expensive school. <laughs> and being at that school, there were many times where I just sensed how rich everyone else was. <laughs> and a lot of the kids that go to NYU, they are very well off. They come from very high income backgrounds, which I do not. Every room I walked in, I felt so inadequate. And I felt I felt insecure because I knew the background I was coming from and, and where most people were coming from. And now I have the mentality, it does not matter who is in this room, how rich they are, how successful they are, I'm gonna walk into the room like I own it. <laughs> the way you view and treat yourself will be how others treat and view you. If you constantly talk down to yourself that you're ugly, you're untalented, 
talented. You're a loser. That is how other people are going to treat and perceive you. You are the one that sets the standard of how others should be treating you. Being a high value woman means you are a woman of your word. So when you say you're going to do something, you always follow through with the action. I will go to the gym. You go do it. I will start posting content on social media. You go do it. To get things that you've never had, you have to start doing things that you've never done. Stop doing the same old, same old, okay? And thinking you're gonna magically get a different result. If you envision for yourself a dream life, a dream career, a dream partner, you have to do the uncomfortable. You have to put yourself out there. You have to take the first step. You have to apply to jobs. Be fearless and do what's uncomfortable. Stop expecting yourself from others. If you know that you are a good friend to someone and they are not a good friend to you, it is your own fault for expecting them to do the same for you. Drop them, leave them behind, and work to curate a life of people who pour into you just as much as you pour into them. Words are not actions. Actions are actions. <laughs> do not take people's word for it, okay? Oh, I was gonna get you flowers. Oh, I was gonna show up to your birthday. Oh, I'm gonna make it up to you. If you're finding that that person does a whole lot of this, but they're doing none of the doing, cut them off. <laughs> if they actually care about you, being honest about how you feel will not scare them away. Stop being afraid of telling the person that you like that they are not treating you how you expect them to treat you. Stop being afraid to call someone out if they are being disrespectful towards you. If they genuinely care about you and they want you in their life, they will always listen to you. Control only what you can control. So this relates to the let them theory. And this means let them. Stop trying to control every single aspect of your life or every person in your life. Oh, your friend didn't invite you but invited literally everyone else. Let them. That guy you went on a date with ghosted you, let him. You cannot control their actions. You can only control your reaction. You need to actively choose to walk away from the mistreatment, not try to control them and expect them to change. Understand reaction reaction formation. Guys, understanding this changed my life. Reaction formation is a defense mechanism where you are overcompensating for feelings of inadequacy, so you do the exact opposite. If you notice, some guys will be like, I'm such a nice guy, I am so loyal. And then you one day realize that they're the exact opposite of that and they are a crap person or they're two-faced. When they do a whole lot of talking, they're overcompensating for what they actually are. Be Delulu, yes, but be self-aware. So you know, we all love to be a little Delulu, okay? You know, believe that you can achieve things that everyone else might think you're crazy for. You know, I was being Delulu thinking that I'd become a YouTuber and have my dream job and live in my dream place, okay? Being Delulu is good, <laughs> but do not be Delulu into thinking that you are this perfect person with no flaws. Everything is everyone else's fault and not yours. You need to take accountability for yourself, your flaws, things you need to work on, okay? Like for example, I needed to be self-aware that I had a jealousy problem, okay? And it stemmed from insecurity and I had to work on it. Everyone and their mom has something that they need to work on, okay? So be self-aware of your own shit. Being a people pleaser means that people only like you for a fake version of you. If you are a people pleaser, you will forever be insecure because deep down, you know that these people like you for someone that you're not. So just accept that not everyone is going to like you and that's okay. Be extra grateful for the quality of people in your life who genuinely love you, even if that means having a smaller circle. Not everyone is going to like you, so might as well put all that time and energy into learning how to like yourself. <laughs> Daily movement is a hack for free feel-good hormones. Stop viewing working out and having having a workout routine as this annoying chore you have to do to get your dream body or lose a certain amount of weight. There is overwhelming scientific proof that daily movement, which means walking, stretching, running, weightlifting, yoga, Pilates, any sort of daily movement will give you guaranteed feel-good hormones. And I don't know about you, but I love free stuff. <laughs> you will regret the things that you didn't do far more than the things that you tried and failed. I always say this, but my only regret with starting YouTube was not starting earlier. <laughs> you will always regret not trying. You will never regret failing and learning a lesson. Stop looking for happiness externally. Look for happiness within yourself. The cost of procrastination is the life that you could have lived. You can't control life, so control what is in your control. How you start your morning, how you treat your body, how you speak to yourself. That is the only control in your life that you can have control over, so make sure you prioritize prioritize that. Embarrassment is a choice. For the longest time, okay, I was so embarrassed of vlogging in public, but then one day I chose not to. And so I stopped being embarrassed about it. The other week I was walking on this super busy street full of people and I tripped and almost fell literally on my face. And people were staring at me. I looked around and then I just laughed to myself because honestly, it's pretty funny. <laughs> and then life moved on, you know? Another example, growing up, I've always had eczema on my arms, my face. And when I would have my eczema flare-ups, I would be so embarrassed. Anytime I wore short sleeves and people would see it and ask me about it, like, what is that? What's happening? I would literally wear long sleeves in the dead of summer just to not show my eczema. 
Now I could care less, okay? If people do happen to ask me, oh, what's going on with your arms? I just tell them I have eczema been had it my whole life. The flare-ups happen sometimes. And then we move on. <laughs> I choose not to feel embarrassed because life is really not that serious. <laughs> Get comfortable with the uncomfortable. The only way you find true discipline in your life is when you start to get comfortable with the uncomfortable. The only competition is yourself and who you were yesterday. Stop competing with other people. Stop comparing your life to other people that you see on social media where their life looks perfect, okay? We are all starting from different starting lines. Stop feeling like you need friends or you need to be part of a friend group in order to not be a loser, okay? I'm talking to myself when I say this, you are a loser for accepting crap treatment from crap friends. The more you try to control a situation, a person, it will always have more control over yourself and your own peace. Learn to accept compliments, do not deflect them. I used to never be able to accept a compliment and it's because deflecting is a sign of insecurity. So accept the compliment, okay? Confidence is not a feeling. It is the willingness to try. Stop trying to chase the feeling of confidence, okay? Feelings are fleeting. True confidence is an active choice. You are making the active choice to be sure of yourself, even if there's potential uncertainty, doubt, or failure. Nothing in life lasts. The good and the bad, they both don't last. So you need to learn to enjoy and be in the present. And last but not least, the best investment in your life is yourself. You only have one body on this earth, one life, one brain. <laughs> so invest into yourself, every single part of yourself. Enrich yourself with knowledge. Learn to be a better listener, a kinder person. Take care of your body. Do your favorite workouts. Eat the food that makes you feel good. So yeah, those are a bunch of my hot girl mindset life lessons that you need to know. I really, really hope that that was helpful. And if you have any other hot girl mentality mindset tips that you can share with our little community here, please share them in the comments below. Check the comments. I read all my comments. Honestly, you guys have the best advice and we love to put each other on. We do not gatekeep on this channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I love you guys so, so much and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye guys.